That satellite dish up there is uh, my internet. Out here on the farm, there aren't too many options for internet. And uh, about the only one available is you have to have a line of sight with a hill off in the distance. And then the satellite dish beams a signal back and forth. And this last weekend, a tree way off in the distance kind of started to fall over and it's blocking it. And uh, farm internet is slow to begin with. It gets even slower when there's a tree in the way. Um, so I wanted to try to go down there and see if I can get it out of the way. It's a pretty big tree. Grab the chainsaw. Also thinking about maybe... Uh, Drake, get out of here. Go on. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go find your ball. Also thinking about maybe grabbing the tractor and a big long chain to pull it down. But um, I'll, I'll think about it a little more when I get down there and figure out the best plan of attack. So uh, let's drive down there and take a look. So this is the tree here, three big trunks coming out. The one on the left and the one on the right are fine. It's the one in the middle. I think it started to tip over. The base is pretty rotten and it just kind of leaned up against the other one and stopped right in line on my satellite receiver. Um, show you a little closer. Nice, nice big tree, and haven't quite figured out the best way to do it yet. I kind of think I will go grab the tractor and get a really long chain first. At least give that a try first. It's uh, kind of a sketchy tree to cut down for me. At least I don't have a ton of experience with the chainsaw, and the weight's leaning up against the other one. I think you'd want to cut it above where it's leaning. Otherwise it's going to kind of flip out weird. And uh, I'd really, really like to get this done without it falling on me or my pickup. Uh, I guess we'll see if we can do that. I grabbed all the chains in our shop and a big long tow strap. We have more chains on the other side of our farm, but I wanted to see if I had enough here before I run all the way over there. It'd take me a little while to get over there. Um, so I'm going to go up kind of high on the tree, attach the chain, and then attach them all together and see how, how far it reaches. I definitely don't want to uh, let it be close. I'm going to give myself lots of extra room. Um, I think I'll also put a little bit of a cut in the tree down there just to kind of give it somewhere to snap if it needs it. All right, I walked it off and it's just uh, just over 100 feet of length. I've got to be good. I wish I had a couple more chains to throw on it just to be, be safe, but uh, 
there's no way that's 100 feet tall still. So. Um, I think next I'll put that cut in the base. I'm not going to do too much, just to give it a little bit of a weak point. Put Drake in the pickup. Move the pickup down there, just in case it falls for some reason. I don't want either of them close. I think I'll stop there. I didn't go in too far, but uh, gave a couple pretty good pops. So I don't think it's gonna take too much. All right, now let's go grab the, the tractor. We still got the rototiller on it, so we gotta drop that off first. Okay, let's go see what we can do with that tree. Okay, I think I'll put a little tension on it and then get out and look at it one more time and make sure I'm still confident that I'm far enough away. I'm sure this could get a lot more views if this goes uh, terribly wrong. But uh, I think I'll stick with my 10 subscribers and uh, get this done right. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Good to me. Let's see what happens. A little worried about that toe strap. It's uh, kind of a smaller one and getting a little old. I hope it holds up, but we have no way to find out.
Dang it. Thought that might happen. I think it was the toe strap that broke. Okay, I'm gonna run over to the other side of the farm and grab a couple more chains. That's probably a dumb idea using that small toe strap to begin with. And a couple more chains, I can get even further out and, and uh, give a little more assurance too. So, be back in a second. Okay, take two. Success! That feels good. I was beginning to wonder if I was going to be able to do it. I had a weekend at one more time with a chainsaw, and again I heard a couple good snaps in there, so I knew it was about to go. <laughs> I thought I was pushing it with my distance, but I think I had quite a bit of room to spare. Nice! Well, I'll get that out of the way now, and then this winter I'll probably chop it up and use what I can for firewood. Um, but now I can upload this video. Couldn't do that before. So, success! Yep, sweet, sweet success. Go, Dick. All right, I told my dad this morning that if I got the whole day to work on the truck racks, I could probably finish them. So, uh, pressure's on. 
going to jump in and, and see what I can get done. Hopefully I can finish them. I think it's possible. There's a bracket I'm making to go underneath the boards on top in the middle. They're a little too bouncy and I wanted to support them in the middle. I'm going to trim this off though because there's not much clearance underneath the, the boards and, and the cab. I am an artiste. Just kidding. My bracket clamped in place right here on the back side. I was just checking the clearance underneath. I think it's going to work okay. Just got to cut off a little bit here. I didn't realize that it hung down that low.
All right, I think I got it strapped down now, hopefully. Got a cord going to the back. So now I can raise the bed up. It won't reach from the ground if I leave it on the outside when I raise the bed up, so I gotta keep it in here and then run my leads around to the outside. I'm always sure to put down the safety locks when I'm working on it with the bed up. It can definitely be a little dangerous. So, gotta take all the precautions. That's gonna work pretty good. Now we gotta reattach this. This came busted when we bought the truck. So I tried grinding around the outside so I could weld it back on good. Gotta notch it out a little bit for my bracket here. that welded up. It's having a hard time welding in the wind out here and through that paint. Some of the welds are pretty gnarly. But it's a lot better than it was. 
and my dad suggested I put a support across the middle here on the outside because when we're loading squash, squash can roll up against this and hit it pretty hard and it's just going to bust it out again. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. I'm going to, I think, just attach onto this. I wish I would have known this from the beginning. I just would have extended this down from the beginning. But I'm going to go cut another piece, go across here, grind that paint off and, and weld it on. my angle here. Stick on like that. And then I brought this piece and I'll weld down here to space it out. Because the expanded metal is on the outside so you gotta space it a little bit for that. Gotta turn my welder up a little bit. I can get it. Yep. Alright, I got that done. It's a little more thrown on there than I usually like things to do, to be. I wish I had known what I was doing from the beginning. Just could have extended this piece down. But uh, I think it'll work. And it's going to be behind the cab, so I really don't think you'll see it. Now I just need to throw a couple carriage bolts under here and then this will be done.
Put the cables on. But do what? Lift the tailgate. What's that? I bet you're ready to be done with Yeah. I have to paint it too. Or maybe get Dan. Um, cables yet? What's that? Have you got bought the cables yet? I haven't bought the cables. I got the rollers and all that stuff. Okay. Um, it'd be nice to get some extra for the those other trucks as well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to get a bunch. Including like the over, overlap yeah, and everything? Including the loops and everything. 25, okay. I'll probably make these the same. If it works. Can you have me a 916 Spox in? down this thing so many times. <laughs> Thanks. Have a what? Be able to haul more? Yeah. Bigger. I think we will be able to. As long as it dumps okay. Yeah, true. It's got a little tilt to it when you raise the bed, which makes me nervous, but just see how it goes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think that scissor hoist would keep it from. I think it's just the bed's tweaked. I think the scissor hoist keeps it pretty straight usually. Now I'm working on welding this one inch angle in the bottom of the racks. Um, the bed has some waves in it and I thought it'd be easier to do this and kind of push it into the bins than it would be to try to cut the sheet metal out so it fit the the waves and uh, still a little harder than I thought it was going to be. I, I thought I'd be able to take a hammer and kind of beat it into the corner but um, that wasn't really working so what I ended up doing is I clamped a piece of heavy angle up there and then I have this 2x4 cut to length. waiting for this to pop up and knock my teeth out but hasn't happened yet. This is working pretty good because it puts pressure down and out at a, like a 45 degree angle there. And I just scoot over and get a new spot.
also drilled some holes wherever the uprights are. I drilled a hole in that and then I'm plug welding it. I'm trying to give it a little more strength. Because if I just weld it across the top, it's gonna to wanna to flip out, I think, over time. So I wanna to try to weld the bottom too. And then I'll probably weld a little more on the outside once I get it all done. side all done. A lot of freaking work on your knees the whole time. And I thought for this side, it'd be a good opportunity for a time lapse. So I'll set you up, get some pictures going. That keeps me motivated. Power through it. Got that done. Oh, I'm glad too. That wasn't much fun. A little hard on the knees. Well, today has come to a close. I didn't quite get it done, dang it, but um, it's good progress. Worked hard on it, worked all day. I'm wiped. Let me show you what I got done. So the part that took the most time was the headboard. It took a lot longer than I thought I was going to. Got my bracket back in there. I don't know if you can see it. And bolt it down. And then I reinforced the mesh up front. Got that welded up. And I spent early afternoon putting in these pieces here, hammering them down so it fits, fits down tight. That worked out pretty good. That was a lot of welding, took a while. And then this evening, I cut out the remaining four chain hooks up there. Got them welded on. Turn that all right. And then I was ready to put the tailgate back in, so I did that before calling it a day.
to get that back on there. So I think all I have left is to just get the pulleys mounted for the cables. Got the pulleys right here. Stack of them. Just do a drill hole for them. And then the last thing I have to do is to bolt the racks to the bed itself. Uh, there's a risk of, I can have it all the way raised up, the racks could actually fall out, I guess. So it's a good thing to do to bolt it in just a couple places. And then, man, I think I'm about done. Might get to work on it a little more tomorrow. But find out we're picking beans again tomorrow. Uh, early afternoon, so we'll see if I get stuck doing that. But just another day and should be good.